All right, welcome back. More data dose people. So today it's Wednesday and raid directors have finally been placed on the lineup. Like it just took them forever to get here, but they are finally here people. So yes. All right. So uh, hopefully I do the plays decently and I present. It looks like we're going against Monarchs, which of course that should be fun. And by fun, I mean absolutely not fun. You guys know that I do not like Monarchs at all. So yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead and submit Mimicry. And we can go ahead and banish that mimicry. I'm running one of this guy because he's uh, actually pretty decent for this opening play specifically. So I can go ahead and grab me a Nest special summon uh, Pain Lanius, then search with Nest. So, and then go into Strix. Like you, you guys know how searchy this fucking deck is. You guys know how fucking searchy this deck is. So go ahead and activate you. You're actually pretty good. Uh, take some life point damage is fine, but at least I get to go ahead and bust out another. Uh, Red Director Monster, which is pretty good, so go ahead and activate get my, my search. Uh, I'm not sure who I want to search for right now. Uh, Last Tricks wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, Last Tricks go into that play, maybe for the next turn. Oh, I can go into Fuzzy, actually. Yeah, I can go into Fuzzy. Grab me a Fuzzy. No. No. XC, Detach. No, no. That's not smart. That's not smart at all, as Fuzzy is not what I need. Uh, singing is not good either. These cards are kind of situational. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll get me a Lash Tricks. Fuck it. I have Shave 4, so if he kills my fucking shit, I can just summon it back and go into an Affinity. Affinity? Infinity. <laughs> oh, go ahead and go into that fourth trick. So you're probably wondering, what's up with the title? You're like, okay, I don't get it. Uh, I've just been putting that work in with my homework. Uh, so I guess we can talk about a little bit with school, which I don't really talk about that often. Really don't. Uh... I mean, no, I really don't, uh, despite me being in college. There's not a lot to talk about because they're both online classes, so, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, next semester, in the fall, I'm planning on getting some more classes back in, so hopefully I can get into the shenanigans that I'm known for on the channel, and by that, I mean, fucking just getting rejected by every single girl I talk to, which is that. But, uh, that, that's not what we're talking about today. Uh, we're talking about that homework, that 0 to 100, because... Literally, I should you know, I've been putting, I've been going harder than paint on this damn homework, getting it done. Alright, so obviously it's Monarchs, obviously, like, there's no way in fuck it's not Monarchs. I would love to go ahead and Icarus attack, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. So, does that have to be at the start of my play? I don't believe so. Alright, so you're going to go ahead and grab that, which just seems great. I would like to keep this, like, if this gets destroyed, I'll be really sad. I really will. Because I have a feeling that he's going to get his fill spell, he's going to get his fucking shit, and he's going to go fucking on the town on my ass. So, and right now he doesn't even have two cards for me to destroy a Thicker's attack. I guess I could destroy my own nest in one of his cards. Wow, so Rhoda at one, Rhoda at one for one at one, like he's getting all the cards at one to do all his one plays, so. That's great. Oh, I love Monarchs. I love them so much. And by love, I mean hate. Hate Monarchs. <laughs> That's fine. So I'm gonna hold on to my place for right now. There's nothing really threatening right now. I'm assuming should we buff with them for our idea? Yeah, go ahead and play your march. Not really worried about that for right now. Mm-hmm. Get on our summons. Summon that ether. Yeah, get ether effects. I'm assuming summon uh uh maybe like Kaius or something like that. Yep, so those two, like, oh my god, monarchs make me sick to my stomach every time I fucking see them. That's fine. Now he got the first monarch, and he has pan pandeity, pandeity effect, yeah. So this will be turned back to the hand during the end phase, which this might be terrible, I'm not sure. Of course, yep, 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 doesn't matter, get you your fucking filled spell. So I can go ahead and kill myself. Yep. Fine. So I'm gonna destroy these two. And then I guess I'll take all that damage. I guess I'll take both of these. This is just half my life points. I can always pay half, you know? I can always pay half. Can I go ahead and activate that Icarus attack, please? Icarus attack, get rid of you, and get rid of that, and that. For me. And I'll take the 36. You can have that during when I'm at it. Really. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so one of the first things I had to do, I'm in a 
Praxis preparation class. If you're wondering what the Praxis is, it's a teacher test. It's a big teacher test. You have to pass the test to get your teacher's license. And uh, it's math, English, and reading. Well, I'm great at math, of course. The English and reading kind of iffy. So I'm taking a class for uh, reading right now and then English at the halfway point in the semester. They're both one credit, uh, half semester classes. So the teacher, I'm not sure if it's like it's her first time doing this or what, but. Uh, Alright, if I say you're gonna do anything in main phase two, I don't think so. Oh, you're just gonna go ahead and banish him and get that back. Yep. Summon that back. I don't know why, but you did. Okay. Alright, then summon the original monarch. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what you're, where you're going with this. I really am. Oh, okay. I guess you're doing that to make sure that you have stuff shit to tribute for Pendidi. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, so, of course, he can tribute during my turn. He didn't play Monarch's turn fourth, but he could tribute during my turn. Okay. Uh, so, I guess I'll just go ahead and play that sh that shave. Let's go ahead and just, meow, just shave it off and summon the Infinity, because that's totally fucking fair. That's totally fucking fair. So, let's go ahead and slap an Infinity. And you'll probably go like, all right, oh, let me activate Aether, and I'll be like, okay. And then eat this Aether, like, I'm okay for right now. And then I could detach and then summon another one, like, another one, if you fucking do anything to this one. So, give me that, fun give me that, please. Like, oh my god, it, at least he doesn't have a fill spot. If he had his, if he had his fill spot, I'd already be locked out in this duel. Like, this duel had already been over. But because uh, he doesn't have his filth spell, I can actually do some exceed plays and actually do something in this duel. So I'm just kind of pondering on what plays he has. So we'll just go yum 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 yum. And then I can just go ahead and play another one, because I fucking can. Even though I can't fucking tackle around, I might feed something to my second infinity. Just to get over these two. So, uh, fuck it. Because I fucking can, and it's not once per turn, and I can always pay half. Let's see, fucking half is ridiculous, man. So, yep. Going to another one. Another one. Uh, I kind of don't need the Vanishing Lania, so I'll summon it and eat it. And then attack over the, the Prime. So, yum yum yum. And then just fuck him up. Really, just... Proceed to fuck this man up. And it sucks that he's gonna get his shit back. I might negate, I might negate that. With my second infinity. Because I don't want him to get his shit back. He targets one of his banished spells or traps and gets his shit back. Like, he doesn't have a pen DD, and of course he's gonna grab that pen DD, so I might go ahead and negate the, the idea. That wouldn't be a terrible play. And if he gets over this, then I'm just fucked either way. Like, I'm gonna say no to that. I don't want you to get Pendidi. Go ahead and be like, I'm getting Pendidi back. Oh, Monarch's so good. They're so fucking, like, no. Like, no. Fuck Monarch. <laughs> Can't stand this deck. <sighs> Wait, you're getting that back? Really, I don't want you to get anything, so I'm just going to say no. Nah. So no. No. Shh. No. Uh, and I guess that's it for me for right now. There's two cards in hand. I have two good negates, so... I think I might be able to pull this through. I really do. I think I might be able to pull this through, people. Going back to the original Monarch by banishing during the end phase? Uh, yeah, that's fine. I can't stop you anyway. And I could throw a Regeki at you, but there's really no point. There really is, like, no point. Oh, he's out of fucking Monarch Spells and Traps, though. But I can stop anything that he does. Nah. If, if this comes to bite me in the butt, then yeah. But I don't think it's worth throwing a Regeki at him for right now. So we'll just see what he has. I have two good negates, so that's, that's great. So two infinities, let's go. And oh yeah, because it's say, oh yeah, you have two. You're gonna go ahead and summon him back, which I guess is fine. There's really no, there's really no threat right now, unless you're gonna tribute summon these two for a monarch and then just attack over me instead of activating effect. Because you know as soon as it activates your effect, I'm gonna snap your neck, so yeah. So, what are you going to do, sir?
All right, tenacity. Reveal that. Ah, I really don't want you to get any more monarch spell or anything, actually. So I'm actually saying no. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no to your tenacity. No, no tenacity. That is, of course doesn't stop you from fucking uh, tributing and then fucking fucking me up because that should be game because you just tribute someone attack for GG. So that's still game. Despite me having double infinity, I still lose because despite him not getting as consistent as usual, he still got the tits. Like he literally got all three fucking aethers. All three fucking aethers, people. Like, it's just the luck of the game. It's the luck of the game. If I would have turned in my fucking uh, shit, I'm going to be able to do something. So yep, that's game. That is fucking game. I go hard and pay on the homework, but this duel, like, nope. <laughs> uh, maybe should have, should have, no, because even if I would have threw the Regeki at him, he still would have found a way to summon another one. No, 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 I should have threw the Regeki at him, because then he wouldn't have that second tribute. Yeah, because he wouldn't have the fucking prime. He didn't have anything else. Oh no, because he would have, the, he would have had the, the. Uh, I forgot the name of the fucking shit. The tenacity, because I would have negated it, or he would have got it and summoned it back. So he still would have had it. He still would have had it. So, yep, despite double infinity, I still lose the monarchs. That's annoying. We'll get another duel in. Be right back. So, uh, despite not really keeping up with the, the, the teachings, and I guess you could be, I mean, can I really consider her much of a teacher? Not really. Not really. So, anyway, go ahead and summon the Red Raptor, so I can go ahead and summon you. Sum you summon you. Ah, I don't have any of my rank up shit, though. Like, that's, that's a shitty thing. That's a shitty thing. I send a red rock a card, and then like, I guess I'll just do plays. But I did not open up well at all. So I'll go ahead and summon tribute, tribute. Go ahead and send mimicry. I guess I'll just search out the ass, but I really did not open up well. I need some of my rank up plays. I didn't get any rank up plays. Like, this is the rank up deck. Omega Chaos was like, hey. Play Raid Rackers and I finally won. It's like, no, I didn't get any fucking rank up shit. Uh, I guess I can go ahead and get Nest. Play Nest. Search. More searching. Just, 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 just get fucking search happy, man. Just go, just go, just go search happy. Like, let's just go, you know? Let's, let's just, just go search. Why not? Probably Raid Rackers, other than if I just summon this card from my hand. So. You can go ahead and get me a fuzzy. XC these two into Strix, which is nice to finally be in the in the TCG, even though it's super expensive like every other fucking Yu-Gi-Oh card. So we're going to catch you, then we can go ahead and get a singing. So I'll control the Z monster, I can special summon it, and then uh, you control another raid raptor monster, so I'll go ahead and summon you. And just search. Just deck them and search, really. Special summon you. Activate, search summon you, and uh, just just get search happy. Just get fucking search happy because that's what raid raptors do, right, people? I'm playing the deck right, right? I'm I'm doing the plays right. Just searching, searching. So, uh, I guess right now would be a good time to get. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna probably get another vanishing just in case. Just in case I have to make an XP play next turn. Then fuzzy wuzzy. Go ahead and get me another fuzzy wuzzy. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. So I, I searched the living hell out of my shit, down to 29 cards in the first turn. I've got hella resources, start off with five, ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty good, but. <laughs> Are any of my plays fantastic? No, absolutely not. <laughs> and I'm gonna get infinity. Um, it's ironic. I infinity event twice and lost a duel, now I'm gonna get infinity. Like, god damn it, Bobby. <laughs> Oh, that's ironic. That's ironic as hell. Yeah, Nova Infinity. Oh, that's ironic. What? He's not gonna go into Infinity? I guess he wants to summon the Cyber Dragon back first. Like, all right. So you can only go into Infinity on top of Nova once per turn, so don't think that you're gonna bust out two Infinities like I did. Yeah, there's Infinity. And what, are you gonna like re-eat it? Just to attack over me? Cause then what would be the point of that play that you just did if you do that? Like don't don't just re-eat him. Don't. <laughs> but uh Okay, so Yeah, you're a normal summon. You're in special summon, special summon, so you can't go into another infinity, you can go into another Nova though. Yep, but you can't go into another infinity. None of that. Yep, so D-type, summon back Cyber Dragon again. <laughs> 
And then he's like, Infinity! Like, you can't. You can't. You can only do that once per turn. Dude, you're going harder than the paint with this fucking rank 5 shenanigans. Like, goddamn, man. Another Nova. Another one. Detached. Fucking, again. Like, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit. Like, he's just going balls deep. Like, please. Please let me draw Regeki. I will be your fucking best friend, deck. Yep. So, in the end, he did the plays, but he still ate the fucking Infinity. Uh, well, ate the Cyber Dragon. Like, Alright. Oh, you're actually gonna use your effect in... Oh, right, I got the... I got... I got the drop. I dropped. Yep. So, I gotta do it with two Novas and an Infinity. Alright, well... well. <laughs> Ooh, that is a that is a great top deck. That is a that is a wonderful top deck, really. That is that is the top deck that dreams are made of. So I can always just go ahead and bait him, then eat him. No. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and uh, I can just turn him to defense. I can literally just turn him to defense. So I'll go ahead and normal summon, vanishing, activate my effect, response. Negate me if you want to. Negate me if you want to, motherfucker! Whoo! That's great! Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and shave early. Yeah, shave and go into my own Cindy. Eat your infin- Oh, no, because you can fucking- I can't- I can't- I can't- I can't stop you, though. Because you have multiple Novas and multiple Infinities. So I can take one, kill one, but then he'll still have another one. Like, that's bad. That's bad. I kind of needed that, actually. That's bad. Because if I could summon fucking this guy, I could attack over him. So, uh, just the fact that Infinity is at multiples is just gonna fuck me. No, I might be okay. I might be okay with using someone who I you wouldn't think going to this guy. Alright. What do you do? I'm turning to your time this card. This card can attack all monsters. Your punk controls each one. Yeah, at the end of the time, this card battles to pick up stuff from monster. That monster attack becomes zero. Ooh, yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. That's exactly what I need. I, I knew there, there was something good about you. Then I text you on this card, attack all special summon monsters. Then once per turn, I target one monster my opponent controls. This card has a raised raptor, XC monsters, XC material. I can target one monster I controls. If I do inflict damage and then destroy that monster. I can like shoot missiles at him. And I don't have to detach for that, right? Ah, fuck it, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna attack all your monsters and drop you down to zero anyway, so... So we'll just go ahead and detach and fuck all of you up, which is just wonderful. So, thank you, Revolution Falcon. I was thinking about going to Infinity, and it's like, why the fuck do that when I can just fuck up every single one of your monsters with Revolution Falcon? Like, bam! <laughs> bam! So good, so good, so good. So, uh, she was checking in, and she was like, hey, how much work have you done? I've done absolutely nothing. So I literally had to do a, a shit ton of homework in one fucking night. Alright, he has Galaxy Soldier. That's the only card he has left in his hand. So if he draws into a light, special summon Galaxy Soldier, but then that's it. So I think I might be okay. I think I might be okay. I have the resources. I have the plusage. I might be okay. It depends on what he draws. It really does. I won. Woo! Thank you, fucking Revolution Falcon. You did what Infinity could not do. <laughs> because if I wouldn't went to Infinity, I would have lost. But because fucking Revolution Falcon, let's go. Attack all of them. <laughs> we'll get one more duel in. Be right back. So I literally had to do all my fucking homework in one goddamn night. Like, <laughs> like come on, man. It was it was ridiculous. I spammed the shit out of my homework over and over. Uh, this time is not bad. This time is not bad. We'll go ahead and send tribute. I still don't know how Last Tricks works exactly. I think it's just when a Raid Raptor monster battles, I can go ahead and summon it. So, not itself. And then I do have the Skip Force. So, I can just go ahead and skip over to Ultimate Falcon, which would just be great. So, if we can go ahead and bust out the powerful Ultimate Falcon in this video, then that's great as well. So, I can summon you, use your effect. And just get the plusage. Just, just, you know, just get the plusage. Go ahead and get my nest. I'm thinking about maybe dropping Ness down to 1, just because I can get it so goddamn consistently. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Go ahead, Go ahead and activate you. But you're, you're pretty good, Pain. You're pretty good at 1, especially since you're so easily searchable. Like, take it, take the Pain, summon you, become level 4. Play Dread Redemptor's Ness. Dude, nigga, if you got fucking Maxi or something, play it already. Like, <laughs> I can, I can, I can stop when I want to. Um, 
Some of the Rave Dropper monsters are just so anticlimactic, really. So, I think I might want to go ahead and grab another Vanishing. Yeah, grab another Vanishing. XCV's 2 Detach Search. Like, if you're not gonna fucking play anything to stop me, then I'm just gonna go harder than the paint, because there's really no reason for me to stop if you're not gonna stop me, right? So, I crammed. I literally crammed. I had to call her up on uh, Wednesday. Uh, I mean, Tuesday. Yesterday. I had to call her up and be like, you know, to check in. Be like, hey, how are you doing? Like, oh, oh I'm doing okay. I actually did my work. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how that went down. I guess I'll go ahead and grab me a singing. A special summon singing. Special summon fuzzy. Like, you you know the routine. You, you know the routine. You know the routine. <laughs> yep. So, some singing. Start some fuzzy. Go into another force tricks. Get another search. Get another search off of fucking... Uh, get another fuzzy and just have these big old 3,000 booties Which is not bad, not bad. Well, no, they'll be 25 Which is fine. 25 is still a pretty decent booty And I have the last tricks and the skip for so we're good I, I'm just hoping that I'm doing this properly. If I'm doing anything wrong, please tell me, please you know, be like, no, Daniel, you're not doing that right. Like, you, you should do this play instead of this play, or this play instead of that play. Like, oh, okay. Because if I'm doing this wrong, please tell me. It's just, I'm not getting any back row, I'm not getting really much of anything. So, it'd be great if I can go ahead and just drop that last trick as soon as possible and do that play. I already have one of you. Getting another one of you would be pretty good as well. So, just a little bit slow, really. Uh, I'm not sure who I want. You're pretty good too. Impale? And, uh, yeah, get that search, like, just deck then, just playing, playing cards, touching myself, it's fucking Raider Actors, what you want me to do, drop that ultimate falcon all day, every day. So, I guess, maybe on his last attack decoration, I'll go ahead and drop the, the, uh, summon the last tricks, even though I think I could just summon him and tribute him. I don't know why I think I gotta, like, use his first effect, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, just try it, you know, just period. You can tribute this monster, especially summon inside. I don't think I have to use the whole first effect to use the second effect. I think I could have just summoned last tricks, tribute it, and then summoned uh, satellite cannon and ranked up into uh, into ultimate falcon. I think I could have. I really do. Did he just mill those two? Wow. Wow. Those mills. That mill. That mill though. That mill though. That mill though. That mill though. <laughs> this man went summon riding, activate the effect. Right in mill trick clown and mill fucking thousand blade. I wouldn't fucking believe it if I didn't fucking see it with my own fucking eyeball. Alright, so this is obviously uh light sworn fucking Minerva dot deck, so I still should be pretty wary of uh of uh I damn it, Bobby, what I'm trying to think. I should be wary of uh Utopia of the Lightning. Which I guess it could kill me, but I could just summon it back. Like most people only play one Utopia of the Lightning, so I still should be okay. Like, can you get over my booties? If you can't get over my booties, then I'm just gonna get more plussing and more searching. Like, either you give her my force tricks, which I really don't care, or you leave them there and I get more plussing and more searching, which is always great. <laughs> you can never have enough resources. I don't care if I have 20 fucking cards in my hand. Like, let's go. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. Yep. So, despite Damage Juggler being banned, this man is keeping the fucking Light Sworn clown shit alive, the, the light sworn to form age maneuver of that deck alive, you would think that the deck would go away with no damage juggler, just because you'd just be milling random shit, but no, he just replaces it with thousand blades and make sure that he does all his rank 4 shenanigans, so more power to you, man, more power to you. If that's what you want to do, then do's the do, and then you're just gonna end. So wait, you summon, you summon hat tricker, and then you just end? Like, what the fuck? Alright. Well, no to Judgment Dragons, so there's one. So he's actually playing Judgment Dragons. Oh, wow. And now I get fucking, uh, Doom Force. With the, with how consistent you bust out Force Tricks? Doom Force seems like a pretty good idea. If you kill my Force Tricks, I get Doom Force. And I can go ahead and rank him right up into a fucking Satellite Cannon and wreck all your back row with the 3,000 meters. So, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Alright. So, because you didn't touch them, I guess I'll go ahead and get all my effects and all my searching and all my happiness. Alright, so go ahead and place it on top of your deck, which is fine. Because you know what? That's just reassuring for, reassuring for me, because now I know you don't got any goddamn back row. So, that's great. That's great. 
that's just great. Uh, might be good to go ahead and get a Mimicry. No. No, because I'm going to normal summon him. No, I could just do that during main phase suit. No, no, I'm going to do it early. No, because I can't attack, right? I can't attack. Uh, turn center step. Special summon it. Your opponent takes no damage. Yep, your opponent takes no damage. So, there's really no point in me doing that so early. I could just wait. So, I guess I'll go ahead and get me a Mimicry. Then, uh, we just want a Raid Raptor Monster Battles. So, that's fine. So, I can go ahead and summon uh, Impale Lanius. Summon Impale Lanius, turn one of you guys to defense mode. Tack over one of you. Get my effect, summon a Raid Raptor Monster back. I'm going to just go hard because you allowed me to fucking get all these plussing and all this searching. Like, like let's just go, really. I don't even know what I fucking want at this point just because I have everything. Like, I have everything. Like, you cannot ask for more fucking shit than to have everything, right? It would be nice to go into another Force Tricks, though. But I don't think I, that's necessary. I think I'll just go ahead and, uh, normal summon Flash Tricks. Use your effect, tribute to off, summon Satellite Cannon. And then just go into Ultimate Falcon, because I fucking can. Because I fucking can, right? And Ultimate Falcon. So it's unaffected by other card effects, which is awesome, so I'm not even JD. Why but Patrick Zero from this card? Then the turn on the opponent's monster is down attack, also your opponent can activate cards or effects. That's pretty good. This card has Red Raptor Extreme Material, it gains its effect once returned during the player's end phase. You can make all their monsters lose, blah blah blah, attack. Like, okay. Uh. I can't do any damage to you this turn. I guess I can fuck one of you up, and I guess the one I want to fuck up is the Raiden because I don't want any additional mouse, but I can't do any damage, but at least I can still kill your monsters. Unless you have Honest, in which case, well, then fuck me, but I can always come back, so. So, do you have Honest? Oh, right, you have Electromagnetic Turtle, and that affects the player, not the, the game state, so. I guess I'll just go ahead and set this and end my turn. <laughs> so, yep, I'll go ahead and use my effect. Toma? What's Toma? I don't know what Toma is. Toma. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I did all the work, called up the teacher, she's like, oh, we'll come in on Wednesday and uh, we'll work on it more and study more. I'm like, okay, I guess, sure, fine, whatever. Oh, yep, that fucking police smell. Like, is this man gonna literally just jump me with fucking rank four? It's like, even, like, yeah, I said, even if he makes you Toby the Lightning, I'm still good. Okay, well, this is unaffected by card effects, so that fleece didn't work. That fleece didn't do shit. Next. I'm a 35 invincible monster. I'm unaffected by card effects. Like, whoo! You ban towers and then make a fucking stronger tower that's easier to summon for raid raptors. Ridiculous, right? <laughs> With my two 3,000 booties. Look at these booties on force tricks. Like, whoo! So, go ahead and go into your maneuver. Whatever. I don't care. I wonder who's gonna deck out first, like him because he's milling a whole bunch, or me because I'm searching a whole bunch, like, let's go, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm just play that Twin Twister and pop my Red Raptor Snuff. At this point, I've got, I've got plenty of use out of it. Plenty of use, I don't care, you can have that, that ain't what I'm mad at. <laughs> I'm still, I'm not mad at none of your plays, like, that, that's the crazy thing. You can summon Judgment Dragon, and I don't give a fuck, like, no fucks are given by me right now. It'd be nice to get off of Doom Force, but I don't even think I'm gonna get that off. Still trying to figure out the ratio of Doom Force from right now. I've seen people just play one, but with how easily you can get off Force Tricks and how easy Force Tricks dies, you can just play Doom Force and summon that it back and make a satellite can. Like that's power. That really is power. But I can see if you don't if you don't have the ability to make the Force Tricks, it can't be a dead draw. I can see that. Sure, Judgment Dragon. What's up, bro? What's up? And this is such a strong battle, so I'm just gonna lose my Doom Force. So wait, what was the what was the point? Like, hold on, what was the point of bringing Doom Twist uh, in Galaxy Cyclone and popping my shit if you're just gonna play Judgment Dragon and wipe me? Unless you're not gonna wipe me and you're just gonna attack, which bring it, <laughs> bring it. Did you top deck into that Armist? Because if you didn't top deck into the Armist, there's no fucking way you're getting over Ultimate Falcon right now. So 
If you're summoning fucking Aaron, I guess you're gonna make these into Utopia, then Lightning, and then attack over me like that? Is that what you're gonna do? Because I can just get my shit back. Like, I literally can. With this. So, yep, so see, that's two and two. Dark about me. Okay. Your opponent controls. Okay. Well, we can't do him. We can do one of these two, I guess. No, I'm just, I'm unaffected by your card effects. That does nothing. So now what? <laughs> Holy shit! This man is trying everything in his arsenal to get over fucking ultimate fucking. He can't do shit because he keeps fucking up. Like, uh 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 uh. uh. Even if you were to cut these in half, you only got like what 550. That's not enough to get over me. So now, next, next effort. <laughs> So that was the first thing I gotta do. So on Wednesday, the day that you're going up, uh, gonna go ahead and be doing the- Oh, wow, you're not gonna kill me. You're not- you're not gonna fucking use your effect and wipe me. Holy shit. Also, you didn't mill, so I obviously know what this card is. So you're fucking get your Judgment Dragon shit back, but you put on top of your deck because, yeah. Some of the cards still not come out in the TCG yet. I guess maybe TCG Konami's like, nah, fuck that. Like, no, we're good, we don't want that. <laughs> So then you crash your Dark Rebellion into me, just so so you can play Thousand Blade. Where are you going with this? I'm so lost, like, I'm so fucking lost where you're going with this. Okay, well I have a 3,000 booty and you only have a 3,000 attack, so you're not killing me. Like, next? <laughs> this man, he is just doing everything, but nothing correctly. <laughs> if only you played the Utopia the Lightning, you're, you're running out of turn, too. Okay, you're running out of time. So then the other thing I have to do, uh, I'm retaking English 102, because I got a C in it the first time and I didn't like that, so I wanted to retake the class and get a better grade. That being said, we pretty much do work, work every single week. Every single week we got an assignment, and this week uh, we have to write an essay, an argument essay. Alright, so now you're just going to go ahead and do JD Wipe, like, where are you going with this? Now you're literally doing everything and nothing at the same time. Like, okay. <laughs> Again? Do it- shit! Do it again! Let's go! One more time! Let's go! Fucking wipe as many times as you fucking want. Fucking stupid, man. <laughs> uh, how the fuck am I lucky? Like, because I have Ultimate Falcon? Like, that's what this fucking deck does. It drops Ultimate Falcon on your fucking bitch ass, and you get wrecked. Like, how am I lucky? I don't even know what's going on in the graveyard right now. So that's during your turn, except the turn is sent to the graveyard. You can banish both this card and one raptor, red raptor monster from your graveyard and target one. I think it's target one red raptor XA monster. There's graveyard during your play turn. During your turn, blah, 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 you can banish the card and target one red raptor monster in your graveyard and target one red raptor XA monster in your graveyard. Don't summon that monster. I'm just calling a rare record monster to summon an axi monster. Okay. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What's PTK? I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Like, what is what is PTK? I mean PTK, PKT. I don't know what that. I don't know what that word. I don't know what that means. I'm just gonna end the door right now, like I won. But I just was kind of curious if you ever wanted to tell me. And this is the guy that you should have went into to handle Ultimate Falcon, but uh, apparently you're not playing him, so that's fine. So we'll just go ahead and attack. Use my rage to fake him. That's the uh, nice juicy attack and attack over you. You can't even play on us. So, yep. This effect is too good. Oops. Got the 5,000, you take 3,000, you're dead, and then attack with Ultimate Falcon per game. Ah! Thank you for wiping all them times with JD. Like, you wipe. You pay 1,000, wipe. You didn't kill the Ultimate Falcon, so you pay another 1,000? As if, I what, I can't be destroyed, but, like, once per turn or something? Like, no, I'm... First sentence. I'm just unaffected by card effects, period. Like, whoo, let's go. So, there we go, there we go, not bad. I probably fucked up somewhere with the Red Raptors. It's just, I search so much that I don't know where to search. I kind of, I, and I feel that when I duel against Red Raptors and now playing it for the first time, I kind of feel like, what am I searching for? <laughs> like, I even said that when Red Raptors started going, I said, like, what are you searching for? Like, 
they're more setup plays, but there's no like great radar I'm gonna grab. I already got my fucking outside falcon, so where do I go from here? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I might, I might go ahead and drop the the nest down to one to a number generator and two because I can get out the place super easy. It seems like, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe play more of the fucking uh, double because I can bust out tricks so easily, so I can play double and summon satellite cannon during my opponent's end phase and heavy storm. I think it's I think it's Harvey Side of Duster. Harvey Side of Duster their shit during the end phase, the turn that they set, which is pretty good. I'm just not sure. So if you guys have any suggestions, please tell me. Let me go ahead and finish. But uh, the essay, it's doing a week, uh, three to four pages, argument essay. Uh, at first, I didn't really know what to do, so I asked the teacher, and he was like, "Oh, we'll do this topic, do education, and do these fucking uh, readings, because you have to you have to choose a topic in the back of the book, and then choose two articles to you know reference and." do all that in the essay. Uh, he, told, he gave me education and gave me two articles, but then I read them and I was like, no, I can't really write about these, I'm good. So I stuck with education, but chose my own articles. I mean, he didn't say I couldn't do that, even though he gave me whatever, you know. You get to choose your own in the beginning, so yeah. And uh, despite the essay being due on Sunday, I busted it all out in one sitting, one day. Uh, it's about, say, three and a half pages. I mean, it's easy topics, education. I want to be a teacher, so that's easy. But it's just like, yep, bang that out. Bang that out real good, and it was easy too. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so go down when I'm going down to see my, uh, my practice preparation teacher and always go down to the writing center and get my essay checked over and, I don't know, turn that in. So, like I said, 0 to 100 homework style, because I, I got it done. I got it done. I have literally no more homework for the rest of the week. <laughs> so, that's good. So I can focus on other things like YouTube, because there's a lot of things to do in YouTube this week. A lot of deck profiles and playing new decks and making new decks, so. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the fact that Red Raptors aren't on here. It was fun. It was fun. Just I don't know what I'm searching for at times. I really don't. But uh, the single text and stuff like that are nice, and I'm glad that I put them in there. And I, really, I just need some more back row. Like I, I, I have the plays. I have the consistency. I just need back row. And I don't get any goddamn back row. I can't even protect myself. And I didn't get any solemn. Oh, I think I got one solemn strike that was too late. I think. I don't know. I'm not sure if that duel was in this video, but not a lot of solemn strikes or solemn warnings. None of that. So. Yeah. So. Uh, long day of the duels like usual. Yeah, first week is pretty long. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Be sure to uh, comment any suggestions for the deck in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to take them into consideration and continue working on them uh, and this deck. And uh, yeah, so see you guys tomorrow. Uh, double daily duels once again. Deck profile for Fluffles. And the inclusion of, oddly, you got selected plant princesses. So hopefully I can do that deck justice. Alright people, thanks for watching.